Hello AP Bio students, we're going to go over the third section in this unit zero, the pre-content before the actual content of the class. And this is going to be a short section about how we take measurements in science. Something I always like to remind my students is that measurements must always involve a number and a unit. If you give me a number without a unit, I have no clue what you're talking about. So including something after a number to tell me what it is that we're measuring is really important. Now in science, we use the metric or the SI system and these systems have a base unit of 10. Now typically for the SI system for length, we're going to use meters, for mass we're gonna use kilograms, and for temperature we use Kelvin. And you can see in this chart there are other base units that we use, but these are typically the most common that we're gonna use in science. And honestly in my classes, I actually don't use Kelvin, I use Celsius, but it is what it is. Now when I say that the metric system or the SI system uses a base 10, what it means is that we have to multiply or divide these numbers by 10 to get to the next level. As you can see here, we just have to multiply it by 10 on each one of these going up to get to the next level. When we get smaller, we have to divide by 10. You can see what that looks like here. Now when we use these different units, we also have prefixes that go before the unit. And these prefixes have certain meanings, like kilo meaning 1000. So whenever we see these prefixes before the unit, we have to understand that that prefix is going to change the meaning of the unit, or at least what we're measuring. So when you see these units, you might see a prefix before it to change the type of measurement that we're using. I'm gonna start ending these sections with memes, and I always show my students this meme. I think it does a really good job of showing that the metric system is so easy to use, but for whatever reason, in the United States, we don't use it. However, in science, because it's a global thing, we use the metric system or the SI system, and it's really important to understand the significance of it. But yes, this is what we do in the United States, and I just, I don't know why.